good to see you again. I hope you all had a lovely half term and that you have got outside and had lots and lots of fun. Really exciting that we will be seeing each other in person really soon, only two weeks away. So fingers crossed, we'll all be back in school together and having a lot of fun back at school and we'll be able to do all of the wonderful things that we can normally. Still at the moment, we're slightly stuck in this situation, so bear with us um, and enjoy what we can do together. Make sure we're getting fit, ready for when we do return to school. Um, and um, today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little, um, little bit of exercise that's gonna improve our balance and our coordination and our strength um, in our ankles. Um, when we're doing any sport, um, that is an intense activity. We have to change direction really quickly. Um, and this is gonna help us strengthen our ankles um, and make sure that our legs can control our body so our balance is really good. Um, so we're gonna do that. The first thing that we're gonna do is a little warm up. Um, so uh, before we do that, if you want to go and get yourself a drink, pause the video now, go and grab a drink. I've got one right here. So, a little sip for me. Uh, make sure that uh, you've got your drink and then we'll be ready to go. So, pause now. Hopefully you're all back now. Great, well done. So, here we go. The first thing we're gonna do is our warm up. We've done this warm up before, so hopefully you guys will be fine with it. We're gonna work for 30 seconds and have 15 seconds uh, to rest before we do our next one. It's only six little things. We're gonna start off with a jog. So I'm gonna set my timer over here. We're gonna start in 10 seconds, just with a light jog, making sure that our feet come off the floor. That's really important. And we're using our arms to run. Ready? Off we go. So arms are coming backwards and forwards. Our elbows are driving backwards and forwards through our run. Yeah, we haven't got limp arms like this or long ones like this. Let's bend our arms and push those elbows forwards and backwards like pistons as we're moving and our feet are coming off the ground. We're not just pretending to jog like this, that's sort of like a walk. So let's get our feet up off the floor, staying on our toes, and a nice jog as we go. Okay, good. We have got, there we go, so 15 seconds to rest, and then we'll do our next one. Our next one is our heel flicks. So you can place your hands, palms out, and we're gonna be flicking our heels up to hit our hands. Now make sure when you're doing that, again, you're staying on your toes. Off we go, flick those heels. You can feel that hitting your hands, then you know you're doing it right. Okay, we don't want our knees up here, that's no good. We don't want that one yet. We'll do that in a minute. Heels up, keeping our knees down and bouncing off our toes. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Good job, four seconds, three, and we can stop, right? Again, 15 seconds rest, and then we do our next one. This one is our high knees, okay? Again, staying on our toes, much as possible. Ready, off we go. Bouncing our high knees coming up in front of us this time. So our heels aren't coming up here anymore. Really working on keeping our knees up. Use those arms, forwards and back to help us. Keep your head up, really helps chest up, it's really hard to do it if we like this. So let's keep our heads and chests up, pump those arms. And we've got five seconds left. Three, two, and stop there. Good, 15 seconds. Then we're gonna do our jumping jacks. Okay, so we start like this. We jump wide, our hands touch, and then we jump narrow. Again, staying on our toes, off we go. If we can, stay on our toes, all the way. Nice and wide with those legs, hands touching above our heads. Narrow and then wide. Good job. Okay, 10 to go on this one. Keep going all the way through and stop there, well done. Okay, jumping jacks are done. Right, this time we're gonna do our squats. 
and then onto our tiptoes, okay? So nice and low with our hips, and then drive up to our tiptoes. Down and drive up onto our tiptoes. Go up, down and drive up onto our tiptoes. Down and drive up onto our tiptoes. Good job. Down, up. Really push up on that. We're gonna drive up and balance. Up and balance. Drive up. Good job. Drive up. Only three to go. Two, one. Okay, good. And the last one we're gonna do, the last thing for our warm up, is gonna be a sprint. Okay, so it's a race, this one. Who can go the fastest? It's 30 seconds. Really go fast. Ready? Go. Off you go. So this time, no jogging. We can really power. Again, elbows in, pushing forwards and back. Really sprinting. Knees coming up and down like pistons. As fast as we can. Can we go even faster than we are now? For the last eight seconds, come on. Who's gonna to get to the finishing line first? It's gonna be me. One, two, one, and that's the finish. Okay, just pause there for a moment. Uh, oh. Right, now we're gonna go on to our, our main activity, which is that improving our balance and our coordination, strengthening up the lower part of our body, our ankles and calves. Now, a lot of it's gonna be balancing so the first thing is going to be just balancing on our foot and, and one foot out in front of us and we're going to turn our ankle while we do it we want to try and stay as still as we possibly can um, just follow me we'll do it with one and then the other one so we've got about eight seconds i don't mind which foot you start on we're going to do one on this one and then on the other one so if you want to start on your left you can so Circles. Oh, hang on, wait, wait. Wait, wait, that's not right. I've got 15 seconds left, apologies. <laughs> Here we go. So we're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Off we go now. So we can balance and circle with our right foot. Again, if we wanna use our arms out to help us to balance, we all know that a nice aeroplane arm is good. Now, whilst we're balancing, we're also thinking about moving our ankle. So we're getting a lot of thought processes going on. We're also controlling both ankles at the moment whilst we're doing that. You could even change direction. So let's start now on the other one. Again, very short rest, but we're gonna go onto our right leg. Go the other one this time. Up, out, and circles. And like I said, if you want to change direction with your ankle as well, get really complicated. Balance, circles, either way. As still as we can, lots of control. We don't want to be wobbling like this. Woo! We want to be, don't want to be hopping. Remember, if we focus on one point, Whilst we're doing it, then it really helps us to balance. Okay, well done, stop there. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is um, the same thing with this time, a leg lift out to the side, okay? So pick your leg, do your balance, and leg lift out to the side, leg lift out to the side, leg lift out to the side. It's gonna be very hard to control this part of our body now we don't want to be leaning to the side really doing it. We want to try, stay as upright as we can and obviously maintain this foot that we're putting out to the side. Make sure we're not touching the ground every time we do it, but it's just coming in, going out, coming in, going out, coming in. Okay, good. And then we just switch to the other leg. While we're doing this, we should start to feel lots of work going on in the backs of our legs down in our calves. So, four, three, two, one. And again, the other way, so the other leg. Nice and balanced, concentrating, 
really push it out, see how far you can get. I'm not very flexible, you guys might be able to really push it out nice and far. Nice control, control, Ooh, little wobble there. Keep going, well done. Five seconds left. Ooh, have a quick drink, have a quick drink. I'm just gonna pause that for a moment. I'll have a quick drink. Lovely. Okay, next one we're gonna do, I'll resume. Next one we're gonna do is a uh, swing, okay? So we're gonna swing our leg across in front of us like this. Off we go, standing again, swing. See how far across you can go. Swinging it across in front of you. Whoa, oh, lost my balance, no good. Here we go, back on it again. If you lose balance, obviously, get back and go again. Very good. Okay, we've got five seconds left. Good job. And again, uh, switch to the other leg. Right. I'm feeling hot. It's a really warm day outside. Five seconds. Other leg, ready, balance. And off we go, swinging it across in front. Control. If you need to do it slowly to keep your balance, go slowly. At the moment, I'm having to go quite slowly, but I don't want it to be just this little wiggle. I'd like to see a nice sweep across, okay? Nice sweep across all the time, focusing on our balance. Good, well done. Okay, next one, instead of going side to side, we're gonna swing forwards and backwards. Now you might like to get your arms involved in this one. If you need it for balance, fine. But I find that if I'm swinging my leg, that if I get my arms going, it counteracts what that leg is doing and helps me balance. So if you imagine you're kicking a ball, but you're kicking a ball badly this time. So you're kicking a ball with your toes here, aren't you? Which we don't like to do. Just swing it through, nice and high, both ways. Force it back, force it forward. Force it back, force it forward. Good. Switch to the other leg, and we do the same thing. See if you can really extend it back. See how far forwards and how far back you can go. Without wobbling, obviously, without falling over. Remember, really focusing on balance and control. So what control you have over your body is so important. This is a really, really good one for all sports. Whether you're playing tennis or badminton, whether you're playing rugby or football, whether it's netball, hockey, whatever it may be, it's a really good for control of your movement, uh, balance and strengthening that lower part of your leg. Okay, great stuff. Uh, this time we're gonna do star taps, okay? So this time we're gonna tap the floor around us as we go. Make sure that we're not putting any weight on our foot as we tap the floor. Okay, coming all the way around that side and back. So we're not leaning on it. We are just literally tapping the floor as we go. Again, keeping our head up. Cue, wobble, wobble. <laughs> and tap in, tap, gently brushing the floor as you go. And switch legs to the other side. Here we go. Tap, 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 tap. But don't put any pressure on it. Don't put any pressure on it. Okay. And ready, off we go. Tap, you can come all the way across, tapping around, tapping all the way around the back. See how far you can reach out there on the other side. See if you can almost make a full circle when you're doing it, tap away how far around you can go. Twisting a little bit at the back there. 
Control, 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 tap, tap. There we go, good job. Okay, so we get a little bit more active on this one and we're gonna jump and balance, jump and balance. If you wanna get something on the floor and put it in your way, then by all means do. So we're gonna jump and balance on one foot, jump and balance on one foot. We don't wanna be stepping and doing this. We really wanna see you jumping on there and seeing if you can control the balance. So it's actually not a race to see how many you can do, but to see if you can control the landing. And it's the landing that is more important than the speed in which you're doing it. So if you're doing this, not really any good to us. So that's skater hops. So this time we're gonna do side to side hopping. So standing on one foot, side and side and side. Not as fast as you can. Control, there we go. Control, whoa, control. Okay, everything's about control. Oh, balance, and balance, and balance, and balance, and balance, and balance, and balance. There we go. Room, don't rush it. Oh, yeah. Feel that down the sides of your legs, your calf, your ankle. Same thing, switch to the other leg. Okay, right. Ready? Another leg, off we go. Jump, whoa, and jump, and jump. Oh, wobbling all over the place on this one. Okay, and jump, and hop, and hop, and hop. We don't have to go far. You do want that lateral movement though, side to side. You do want side to side. If we're just doing this one, we're not really getting that side side movement. So make sure it's side to side. Okay, good. Nearly there, good stuff. So this time we're going to do forwards and back. So we're gonna hop forwards, Whoop. we're gonna hop back. We're gonna try and keep our balance doing that. Hop forward and hop back. Whoop. Hop forward and hop back. Good. All this is not easy, and the more you do it, the better Ooh, you'll get at it. Uh, I need to practice too. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, come on. Oh, so switch legs. We'll do the other side. Got to practice this one. This one's my hardest one, I think. Okay, so left leg or whichever one you were using before, just switch over. Ready? Okay, hop forwards, hop back. Hop forwards, and hop back. Now again, focusing on our control and our landing is much more important than the speed at which we're doing it. So, doesn't need to be a race. Good, all right. Okay, this time, so our last one we're gonna do is four hops forward, okay? So you go one, two, three, and four, and we can come back. If you can do one, two, three, four, and go back. If you can do two really big ones, then do two really big ones, okay? If you find that you go, one, two. All right, little hops are gonna be easier. One, two, three, four. If you can do big ones, and just two of them, one, two, and control it, then that's even better. Okay, last one, switch legs. Like I said, if you can do two big ones, do that. If you can't, do four little ones. So once again, I'll show you. Ready, off we go. One, two, three, four. Or you could do one, two, 
But again, make sure you're controlling the landing. That's really important. One and two. Controlling the landing. Whoop, here we go. One and two. Good. And back. Four seconds. Last few. Ooh. Oh, there. All right. Okay. That's us. Done. Brilliant job. Now, you can go and do that all over again. Great. If you are done and you're tired, that's fine. You can have your rest and you've done your bit for today. That's fine. But think about doing this video or these sets of exercises as regularly as you can and it will really improve your power, your strength down here. Your balance will be improving enormously. Your coordination also will really improve. There's a lot of stuff going on with regards to controlling our body in that. So try and do it again. If you can't do it again now, do it again another time. Or do it again as many times as you can. Anyway, really looking forward to seeing you all back at school in two weeks. Really excited. Um, and until I see you there, we'll keep sending you stuff. I'll show you, I'll send you some more stuff next week, but good luck. Enjoy it. And, uh, I'll see you soon. Toodaloo.